Hello, everybody! Anime Reflux! We're doing... Oh. We have Razzle Dazzle. I forgot just that call was it, thing. Just, just call it freaking Dazzle. Don't throw the Razzle it's in there. It's called Dazzle. Dazzle. You, throw the extra ra- you throw the extra Razzle in there if it's Garbo. This was not Garbo. You can't called... just have Dazzle, though. That's yes, not... But no. the main character's name is Razzle. So she is Razzle from Dazzle. Yeah. Like, either... She's dazzling, which yeah, that's great. Or she has razzle dazzle, which is or an entirely different thing, but or still she's great. Razzling? I don't know what razzling is, but she sure <laughs> has that. But if you just have dazzle, what is that? I don't even uh, know. You clearly haven't met somebody who dazzled before. No, not no. Really. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, I've met someone who bedazzled before, but that's a different thing. That works Ooh. too. Boo! That was bad. You should feel bad. I sure. wasn't trying to be like punny. That was just another thing with dazzle in it. Okay, so Razzle Dazzle: The Dazzling uh, is the show that we watched this week. It did not feel like explaining much. It really didn't. I mean. <laughs> open up with the main character and she's just apparently wealthy sort of character she and all of she's just sitting there reading and her father is talking to her about how awesome it would be to go on an adventure and <laughs> next thing we know she's being kicked out of the house and forced yeah. onto an adventure that was Dad awesome says, hey you know it'd yeah. be pretty great to go on a trip right no cool all right well, get cool. out <laughs> And, then and, what is, and how does she react? She is rather nonchalant about it. If I'd known I was going to be kicked out of the house, I would have grabbed seconds at breakfast this morning and even gotten those side dishes that I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing phases me. The, the show is, like, it doesn't explain much, but it's bizarrely funny yeah. in a lot of ways. Uh, she runs over to this alleyway and she's like, oh, hey, it's a handsome guy. I wonder if, oh... Oh, he's holding a gun to a guy. Hmm. Yeah, this is a thing with her. She has an internal monologue where she... The whole situation about everything going on around her. She keeps her thoughts to herself quite a bit. And she seems intelligent, if a bit... Spacey. Okay, it's not It's not ditzy. It's more like she's just so unshakable that she can afford to be ditzy. Hmm. All right, well, cool. Guy with the gun. He's he's like, "What do you want?" And he's aiming his gun at her. And she points, makes a finger gun. And she aims at her, at him. It's like, "I'm gonna make your life more interesting." Bang! And I'm now, like, "If the... he just shot that back right there, <laughs> story over." Now, see, see, based on what I saw in the opening, I thought that she was going to pull a Yu Yu Hakusho there. So did I. I was yeah, waiting for that. <laughs> waiting for the spirit gun. But you know that's that's probably for later. <laughs> mm. uh, and surprisingly, he decides, you know what? I'm gonna go journey with this strange girl that I've never met before, and I'm a murderer and a thief. So when I'm, he wouldn't know if he's a murderer, he's a thief. So sure, why not? I hold people at gunpoint. Cool. Yeah, and they're like, and, okay, we have no money, so we need to find a way to get money and he's immediately in an alleyway mugging another guy <laughs> we need to find like a, a you know easy high paying job and he's like okay grabs the guy hey <laughs> do you know about any easy high paying jobs it's probably worth more than this wallet so you know he's got the wallet too it's, just, it's like uh, could you give what well, he gave this wallet to me He's so kind. <laughs> and the next, next thing you know, they're in a forest with a ghost. It's like, yeah, so we're going to exercise this ghost. And I'm like, what? Whoa, yeah. whoa how the hell do we get here? <laughs> yeah. And she and her internal monologue basically says, this is a really nice ghost. She often helps travelers through the woods. Nothing, not malicious about anything. And so why are we doing it? And flashback to, I think, think the part where they were still in the alley yeah, yeah no no the, we, 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 went, we went out of order immediately after she meets them they go straight to the ghost and then they go back because yeah. nothing makes sense 
they have a they have a strange way of pacing this show. I, I like it. It's not bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Just they have in media res three times in the same episode. Yeah, but it it keeps you off balance, which means it's constantly surprising you. This is probably something that's not easy to pull off, but they do. And I'll tell you what, it can, like, it can only be done through a show like this. It can't be you can't like writers don't ever try this. It doesn't work. No, no, don't ever try this, please. <laughs> it, it, it will confuse everyone. Uh, okay. This. So, uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, so they're talking to the ghost, and ghost is like. Uh, don't you want to hear my monologue about why I died and everything? I don't want any violence. <laughs> and they're like, oh, sure, whatever. Uh, and so, not really, because they're always long and boring. <laughs> yeah, not really. And so she starts Keeping. the monologue, and then like uh, Razzle and uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Ozad, I think. Uh, yeah, Razzle and Ozad. They uh, they start playing like dirt Jenga, <laughs> and like <laughs> they just kind of like. Have have fun. She just keeps losing. Yeah, and he he, he takes like, massive scoops of the dirt pile away and is fine. And she just like swipes a fingernail through it and yeah. it falls over. <laughs> and they keep doing. <laughs> well, that's, that was my favorite part of this entire episode. Was just we're just gonna play dirt jenga. <laughs> Stick a, a, a put a stick in some in a pile of dirt and see how much it takes for it to fall over. Like. This is literally, you know that genre of show that we have just grown to hate from doing so many of them? This is yeah. that. Only it's hilarious and kind of taking the piss out of those. Yeah. It's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, they, you know, there's a brief encounter with a ghost, and they're like, okay, fine, we'll leave. Uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, we'll bring your uh, beloved to you. And then yeah, th- they're like, uh, so if you could fuck off, that'd be great. And the ghost is like, no, wind stuff. And uh, basically, wind powers for some reason, because yeah. supernatural automatically, automatically Magic. means supernatural powers. Yeah. yeah. So the ghost is like, next time I won't be so gentle. Sure. Um... They run so, back to the guy, and he's like, "No, I'm not going back there." Yeah, essentially, we're skipping a little bit, but it's not really important. Uh, so, yeah, he's like, "I'm not going back there. I gave up that relationship because I had obligations and money and status that I needed to maintain, uh, family legacy, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And they're like, "Oh, so you just bailed because it was more convenient for you? Cool." Yeah. Also, uh, I think it's like later that they they she's in her room and uh, somehow talking through like a cat or something to this third guy. No, she's just talking to the guy that's on the roof outside of her okay. room. The cat. Is I just don't. There. I. I. Okay, I was confused. I was like, is this magic? I don't know. Yeah, there was a shot of a cat, and I'm not entirely sure what the point of it was. Does she have a cat? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And so there's a third guy who appears with for no yeah, I don't understand. Mysterious mus muscle bound guy who apparently her manservant or something. Yeah. I mean they yeah. didn't are... even spend a single sentence explaining who this guy was. Yeah, just yeah. communicating with her by a, a, a magical butterfly shaped tattoo or something. Or and something. He... Mm. It, it it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and they have a weird yeah. symbolic conversations like I'm um, fire and violence and things. I'll fight like fire that. with a fire called violence. Yeah. So that was <laughs> so, a weird thing that came literally out of nowhere. We know no idea who this character is, but he's here and this, he the, works for her. This show feels like an abridged series at points. Kind of. Yeah, actually. <laughs> And, and I guess that's the appeal of it because I was still having fun. Yeah. Uh, they go back and oh, there's so many cuts through time of going back and forth and back yeah. and forth. They go back and uh, the ghost is like, uh, so you went to see him and he's being a dick, huh? Yeah. I know. 
And they're like, oh, so you knew about all this the whole time? Okay, well, still, you kind of got to get the fuck out of here. We No one wants you here. So just leave. And the ghost is like, no. Nah. And ghost and magic battle between the girl and the ghost. She's just, the ghost is determined to cling to her fantasy that will never be. Yeah. Can't you just let me keep dreaming or something along those lines? Um, and then climactic shot of magic and wind powers that aren't explained. Um, and then we cut to the mansion and they're like, oh, so those guys are probably dead because they're missing now. Well, oh, well, we'll send some more later. And the old man goes to bed, and the ghost visits him in his bed. Ebenezer Scrooge, <laughs> the sins of man are huge. <laughs> now I have Molly and Molly stuck in my head. <laughs> so, Goddamn yeah. Muppet Christmas Carol. <laughs> you <laughs> bane on my existence. All right. <laughs> So she's like, uh, hey, what's up, old lover of mine? Remember me? We're going to yeah, die we're... together now. Yeah, this is my Isn't last goodbye. Nice? Well, you know, it's Isn't not that romantic. I place bombs in the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> what, bombs? <laughs> and he tries to escape, and she floats through the door that he's trying to pull open. Uh, and says something along the lines of you're an idiot but maybe I was the idiot like that girl said and we cut back to the forest um, and yeah the, the girl idea- calls her an idiot you know, that. the idea of a ghost planting bombs <laughs> oh it's mm. great yeah. uh, I lose track of where this particular conversation goes uh, the, the- well, the one Razzle was like, well, it's only one guy. And so uh, then the ghost is like, oh, only one guy. You mean like your partner here? And has his, has her partner by the throat. And she's like, yeah, like your partner. Girl, uh, Razzle's like, yeah, you're an idiot. I mean, I only just met the guy. We might just go our separate ways uh, tomorrow, but that's not really betrayal. Yeah, and he is also entirely nonchalant about the whole thing. Yeah. She's like, um, could you not? do that that's not i'm not really comfortable with you know okay i can't shoot a ghost yeah um I can't really mug a ghost either yeah so basically convinced we assume uh because then we cut back to the mansion and outside of the mansion uh where fireworks are going off those were the bombs that she planted just wanted fireworks. to say something wonderful it was actually yeah. fireworks yeah. And and Ghost is like, all right, well, I'm out, y'all. Hopefully I'll be reborn and fall in love again. Yeah, and the and old Rose man like, inside dies yeah. of a heart attack, and nobody really cares. The true ending to Ebenezer Scrooge's story. Hmm. Um, yeah, because he still very much thinks he's about to die, and there are explosions <laughs> going on around his house, and he's an old man. I have a sneaking suspicion that bad medical conditions are starting to flare up inside. Um, Ebenezer nice. Scrooge! Nice fridge horror there, Casey. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Razzle, Razzle, meets, yeah. Razzle and her party uh, meet up again, and they're like, hey, we got a bunch of money for that. <laughs> yeah, but we spent it all on the fireworks. That shit's expensive, dude. God. It was the strange, muscular ma- uh, manservant who was the one who bought the fireworks, and he just comes in out of nowhere. And both Razzle and Alzed, who apparently never met him, are completely <laughs> nonchalant <laughs> to his like... presence. Okay, I, new person. Let's go, I guess. Uh, there's literally, like... Why I is feel this like, happening? I, yeah, yeah, I know. I was so confused. So, in the end, not a bad show, but they don't explain hardly anything. I don't you know mind. This yeah, is I, fantastic. I, 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 I kind of hope they don't ever explain any of this. Like, why are they together? Who is that guy? Who cares? Just double, just just double down on it. Double and triple down on it. 
what's going on? You don't know. Hey, here's this other character. What is, what's their thing? Oh, well, everybody already knew them from the beginning. Oh, what? What? Where? In, oh, okay. Yep. Watch the show. <laughs> yeah. And shut up. Hundred <laughs> percent recommendation. Actually, Kenji, I agree with you. Everybody, watch this show. <laughs> Calm down. This is good. At the very I mean, least, it's entertaining. Yes, I'd recommend it. I mean, I'm not quite sure that I'm going to watch another episode of it, like I did of. Actually, I am whatever the, whatever the yeah, actually Japanese, I am or um, yeah. my monster secret that one that yeah. one I actually watched a few more episodes of the first and they are currently only anime reflux show that I've watched more than one episode of because I liked it that oh. much but I definitely still recommend this. Oh yeah, I am so glad for having watched this one. This was great. Okay, I did not see this coming at all. No. That fucking, when that opening credit scene started, I said fuck to myself. And I knew what I was going to get into when we saw, when we got this show last week, but I still had to curse to myself. And by I the had end of it, no idea what this show was when we got the summary last week. I had, I just kind of glazed over and it was just washing over me and I picked up none of it. I had no idea. And the name Dazzle doesn't exactly inspire confidence for what something's going to be. What was yeah. dazzling about this show exactly? <laughs> Everything. Like, I Shows literally think I the show is called Dazzle because her name is Razzle. I mean, it makes about as much sense as other things. I, 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 feel, like I've been, I feel like I've been blinded and dazzled by the light of this show that makes no sense and I'm confused. That's what it means. You know what? I'm okay with that. All right. Well, any okay. more thoughts? I got nothing. I got nothing. All right. So it was a good week. It was a good one this week. Hey, Let's yeah, get another was. good one, Kenji. <laughs> oh, thumb up. Thumbs up. All right. Let's get this RNG going. Twenty-seven. Would you say twenty-seven? I am aware of this. Let me do my thing. I have one job. <laughs> 20. 20. Uh, T, again. T. Is it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, sorry. 117. 117. Oh, already. boy. So let's see what we get. It better be good. You gotta top this. Ting a top of growing lager. Please. <laughs> 57. 57, you said? Yep. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look bad just by the title alone. The winner is The Sacred Blacksmith. The Sacred Blacksmith. Got it. <clears throat> okay. Um, so the cover art has a picture of a pretty girl in boob plate and miniskirt, so... We'll see where that goes, but here you go. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll read this. Uh, Once upon a time, there was a tragic war in, in which the power of the devils was involved. After the war, the devil's power was banned and the world was restored to peace. Cecily Campbell is a knight, yeah, Cecily, uh, who has been looking for a blacksmith to repair her old sword given by her father. One day, she saw a man fighting with a ruffian who used the taboo devil's power. The man defeated him with one blow of his weirdly shaped sword. The man turned out to be a blacksmith called Luke. The fateful encounter was the beginning of the adventure. All right. All right. <laughs> it's a 2009 anime. Uh, not too old, so. Fairly modern. Uh, S speaking hmm. of which, hold on. I hate to backtrack, but how old was Dazzle? Or Raz? Or Dazzle. It was Dazzle. I have to assume it was around 2000. A few years after, maybe. Because it seemed like it. Yeah. Like, I think it might have been subtitled by the same people did the early One Piece subtitles. Like, the fan subs. Because it used the same Second. font. <sighs> so, this seems fairly straightforward though you know we've had some fairly straightforward ones before 
2008 is when the anime of Dazzle came out. Really? The, oh. <laughs> the manga originated in huh, tail end of the last millennium, 1999, November. That and is a manga. slow turnaround on that, but worked out. Uh, still <clears throat> on for about, let's see, seven, 17 volumes over almost... 18 years monthly uh, no that's not right the first three came out in august 2000 wait what this doesn't make any sense what? don't don't try to do math okay <laughs> okay sorry i'm an english major math is my bane it kills me slowly in the night alone all right anyway the sacred blacksmith yeah, it looks fairly straightforward, but we've been surprised before, and Indeed. I don't see anything particularly egregiously offensive about this one. Yeah, uh, I've I've actually heard about this one before, so it's it it was semi popular when it came out, uh, I guess. So basically, the exactly the kind of show that we should probably actually be looking at for the show, just like underappreciated gems and such. Indeed, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know whether or not it's a gem, but it, it should be at least pretty standard. Nothing too egregious about it. It's yeah. it's, it's some kind of mineral. Which I'm not gives saying it it's like a diamond in the rough, but maybe we're talking topaz or you know, or opal. Yeah, aquamarine. Stop saying jewels. Barrel. Hmm. <laughs> right. Anyway. Take this out of here, Casey. So, yeah, that was uh, Anime Reflux this week. Uh, yeah, Dazzle. 100% recommend. Watch at least an episode, then judge for yourself whether you want to keep going. I don't think I'm going to. I just think I want to appreciate this little trip this little, that it took me off yeah this little slice of it i'm yeah. sorry for prematurely giving it crap it didn't yeah like if i watched more of this i might be disappointed by the explanations it ends up giving for all this stuff that i don't understand so but in the end, it's clear that we can't judge a book by its cover hmm. not always at least yeah point's been proven so many times okay so thanks for listening and we'll be back next week with another one with um the sacred blacksmith that was the name yeah so bye everybody take care bye, bye.